they're already trying to pit us. Guys, guys, guys. At least let me hit the first corner. That's what I'm trying to fight at the moment. I'm gonna see if I can get it to just stay still for a hot second. Nah, immediately, straight away, wants to kill me. So I've had a couple comments pop up over the years of a lot of people wanting me to play Assetto Corsa, and I've never really got around to buying it. But then it came up on sale a couple months ago, so I decided may as well get it done. People seem to want me to go and do it, so... Here's gonna be our first play of Assetto Corsa. I have no idea what to expect. Apparently it's more sim-like than Forza. But a lot of the people that I've heard that have played this, they play it on PC, not Xbox. I'm not sure if there's any sort of difference between those two. If anyone knows, feel free to educate us down in the comments. It's giving me like Gran Turismo 4 vibes. This, this intro. Well, we're definitely not going to do a career mode just yet. Probably just a quick race. Alright, what what do we use? I don't know if I want to jump into like a full GT3 car yet. <laughs> These things have a soft spot in my heart. Just the classic, just boxy look of a car. Massive wing. I don't think we can change anything on the car, can we? Now, being that this is our first goal of this game, I feel like we probably need to do a track that we at least have some sort of experience on, which is not many. I did Laguna Seca maybe a couple weeks ago in a 787B, and that's kind of all I know. Plus Bathurst, I know Bathurst very, very well. Do they act, do they have Bathurst here? They don't have Bathurst. Not quite sure what we should put here. So I think we're gonna leave the opponents on, on medium. And I want their aggression all the way up. No, no, no softies in this race. Cool. Everything's off, off, off. Or tire wear. Nah, I think for this first one we'll turn that off. Mechanical damage off. Stability control, I don't know, I think 50%. This is either going to go great, or we're going to put it straight into a wall the moment we start. Jesus Christ, that BMW looks so good. Maybe I should... Oh, you pelicans! It doesn't want to go in gear. There we go. Now we're sweet. Boy, it goes off the line though. I don't know what to expect from the brakes or anything. So we're... they're already trying to pit us. Guys, guys, guys. At least let me hit the first corner. Oh, there is no feedback. I think I've got to bump some force feedback into this thing. The steering wheel feels so light. I'm not sure if that's because of the car, the game, or just like the settings obviously aren't Come on, come on, come on, get around. There we go. The settings aren't what I'm used to. Because I'm pretty sure in Forza, I have the force feedback. Oh, we've got to jump on the brakes. I'm pretty sure in Forza, I have my force feedback on like 100. Because that game is terrible for it. I am finding that it is much less forgiving than Forza. You lock up the brakes far easier. Whereas on Forza, I've really got to push to lock them up. Oh, bugger! Long as we don't come last, that's all I care about. Jesus Christ. I can feel those brakes lock up so easily. Oh, we're gonna get them. We're gonna get them. I don't know if slipstreaming works in this game. Come on, come on. Oh, I forgot to change gears. He shut me out a little bit. Oh, he's on the curb. Come on. Go. Go. Oh, here we go. We're learning this game. All the AI just suck now. Jesus Christ. Dive bomb. Sorry. 
contact's been made, but that was a lot of my fault. There we go. We're learning how to send. We're learning how to send in this. He's on the brakes. So much flame coming out of the back of that thing. Up on the inside. Come on, come on, come on. I can see the brakes growing red hot on the uh, on the Alpha. I do feel like I need to do something with this steering wheel feel because I don't have much force feedback from it. Like there's nothing from the uh, from the ripple strips at all. There's no force feedback from any like oversteer or understeer. It's it's very very light feeling. But we'll have to go do some drifting. See how that feels on it, if that's any different. Oh shit, don't drift now, drifting's later. Dive bomb. Sorry, 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 sorry. No contact was made, it's clean. ended up in the back of the Beamer. It's going to be a drag race to the finish. Come on! A sixth place! With one more to go. I thought that was our last lap. What? Okay, yeah, it just sort of takes a second to to go through. I'm pretty happy with that. We did a 148, which is... That's the third fastest lap in there. I'm chuffed with that. I don't know what else to... I'm assuming, because the curve feedback I'm assuming is the little ripple strips. So I kind of want a little bit of feeling from that. I've got pretty high force feedback, but then I've got road force feedback, which I would have thought that would be the force feedback. Uh, so I'm not quite sure what that's going to do. And then there's slip force feedback, which I think is once the car starts to slide. Not quite sure. But we're going to do a, like a lap or two with it like this. And see what happens. Ah, there's a bit more vibration. So whatever we've done has done something. Yeah, now I can feel the wheels moving around. That's what I was looking for. I will say it is much easier to sort of predict where the car's gonna go or what it's gonna do now that I've got some feeling coming back through the wheel. Let's see if on our second lap we can improve that 140 time that we did in the previous one. Come on, whip around for me. <laughs> I can really feel those brakes locking up. I've got the vibration now from them as well, so it feels even worse. God, this thing's so good. It's so good. I'm not doing it any justice. In the hands of someone far more skilled than me, 
This thing would be insane. Oh, apparently that last lap I did as well, I've just realized. 140.4. So that's that wasn't even clean. And I already beat my previous attempt on the first race. It shows what a little bit of good wheel feedback can do. Ended up in his rear end. Oh, this is gonna be like a 139. 37, 38, 39. Oh, 140.1 again. That's right. Anyway, we've got, I think we've got the wheel dialed to where, nope. I think we've got the wheel dialed to where we want it. So now, let's go try something a little bit more intense. I reckon let's just go all the berries and go with one of these, the 919s. Full Nürburgring. This is going to go terribly. We are not doing multiple laps. Maybe two laps. There is no vision. Like, the view in this is terrible. Guys, sorry. Hard on the brakes. Yep. This is this is not gonna go well. I cannot see anything. Out the guys. God, it cycles through those gears so quickly. Oh. I can feel this thing just wanting to slide out on me immediately. Not slide out, um, what's the name? Understeer, straight through the corner, or lock these brakes up! <laughs> it's just so aggressive on the road. Problem is, I don't know this track enough to send it that much in the corners. Maybe we should have gone with something a little bit, a little bit slower and a bit more vision out the side mirrors there. People do this in real life? Like, is this actually how aggressive the cars are on the bumps? I don't know why I've got two laps. We're not doing two laps. Not a chance. Oh, it's just moving around so much. Those bumps just throw the car around so much. It's so aggressive. No! Fun fact, I have actually driven around this racetrack in real life. That was two laps in a BMW 3... something, something, something. I drove a car around there and then I went for a passenger lap and this guy that was driving a... I think it was a GT2? Porsche GT2 RS or something like that. And that was absolutely ridiculous, that was. Oh, the famous YouTube corner. I don't know if anyone else sees those videos. This guy records pretty much just that corner there. And you see the people drifting or like crashing and spinning out. All you guys saying I should try this just wanted to see me fail. This is so hard. I believe this is the long straight on it now. So we can just let it eat. Good. 
Look at the wheel. The moment I let go of that wheel, it just... <laughs> That's what I'm trying to fight at the moment. I'm going to see if I can get it to just stay still for a hot second. No, immediately, straight away, wants to kill me. Come on, let's just complete this lap. Just to say we've done one. There we go. A lap of the Nürburgring done. Maybe we'll do it again at some point in a different car once we've learned this game a bit more.